Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Wacom Bamboo Alpha. This is a capacitive touchscreen stylus that retails for $15 and the street price is even lower, which makes it one of these most affordable uh, models in Wacom's collection. Now unlike a lot of their more expensive products, this one isn't pressure sensitive. So if you're pressing harder, it's not going to give you a thicker or firmer line. Uh, it's just one pressure, one stroke across, unless your touchscreen uh, is something like the iPad Pro, which the screen itself is pressure sensitive, then it will still give you adjustable levels of sensitivity. Uh, the cost here is very, uh, again, affordable, but we still have a relatively good construction quality that's made out of aluminum. So as a quick note-taking stylus, if you don't want something really fancy, uh, especially if you're not a graphic artist, you're just a student, you want to sketch something really quickly, this could be sufficient uh, for you know what you're looking for. The packaging here is very simple. What's interesting about the Alpha is the, the nibs are also replaceable. So the rubber end, when it gets worn uh, out after using it for let's say a year or two you can actually replace it uh, and find parts pretty easily online uh, the entire thing again is fairly lightweight it has a clip as well which you can tuck away on a shirt or onto a backpack about the same size as a standard ballpoint pen and again it's uh, pretty easy to use for drawing on a touchscreen or on a tablet or smartphone just like uh, with a pencil and paper uh, has a fairly ergonomic shape and uh, Wacom is also pushing for a few of their free applications on iOS on, and on Android so we have something like Bamboo Paper, which is a note-taking app that uh, works actually pretty well, especially with a stylus like this, and you can save your work and upload it to the cloud and access it on a computer, uh, which is a backed-up copy, which is, again, pretty convenient for students uh, and designers out there. So this is what the stylus looks like. On the back, there's also a very quick kind of uh, manual slash warranty guide that tells you how to twist off the rubber tip to replace it, and that's pretty much it. So very simple presentation here. So taking a look at the design of the Bamboo Alpha first, as aforementioned, this is a very simple uh, and again low-cost stylus. Um, the tip here though does is made out of rubber as opposed to let's say a plastic circle, so it's not going to be a precision stylus. It doesn't have a really fine small tip. Um, again, it's not an active stylus either, so it doesn't require battery, it doesn't require uh, Bluetooth for pairing. You simply start using it immediately. And you can see it has a fair amount of a give to the overall tip, but as a as a whole still feels firm enough that it doesn't uh, ha add too much resistance when you're pressing across the display. We can rotate this aluminum cap clockwise to remove it and this is what it looks like underneath and we can further rotate the uh, rubber tip to completely replace it in case it gets worn out. From the top here we also have the bamboo logo and a clip uh, as aforementioned which is made out of plastic but feels relatively well made especially since the body here is made out of aluminum and overall it's a very slim stylus. It's comfortable to grip, uh, feels ergonomic just like a standard pencil but it's also not something extra bulky or uh, quite as large as something like a sharpie pen for instance. Here's a quick size comparison. Even though it has about the same length uh, and another fine tip sharpie has a closer overall dimension. Finally, here's another stylus. This is the one that came with the Lenovo Yoga Book, and you can see that the Yoga Book stylus is a little bit thicker, and this one has what I was referencing before as a fine point, which is more useful for graphic artists and people needing precision. Uh, but this rubber tip, again, is good enough, especially for handwriting and for general doodling, uh, as well as for giving to kids if they want something to sketch with on a tablet. So overall, that's the size comparison. So let's talk about the performance. And to do that, I'm going to open up a drawing app on a tablet and do a quick test of how well it works. So I'm opening up Art Rage on the Yoga Book uh, tablet. So if we zoom out a little bit, we'll, we, we can see hopefully that the experience uh, works actually pretty well. So you can see that the touchscreen sensitivity remains actually very high. And although it's not the most precise in terms of uh, having a little bit of uh, parallax, it still works fairly well. I can adjust the size, the type of brush that I want, and I can start writing away. So you can see there's a slight delay uh, but overall it remains actually pretty sensitive. So especially if I'm t tapping somewhere, you can see that it's appearing and it's actually pretty close to what I want, um, despite the fact that it's a rubber tip. So you can see the movement of the, of the tip here uh, as it glides across the screen. It doesn't have that much resistance. It still feels quite uh, easy to use and smooth, which is nice uh, on a glass surface. Let's go back to the 
pencil here, so I'm not applying that much pressure and it seems like the strokes have all been registered. So that's definitely nice to see. Just a slight delay, but overall for note taking it seems like it will work quite well. Obviously there's no palm rejection, so if you put your hand on the tablet that will still kind of interfere with the experience. But it certainly works a lot better than I expected, especially as a rubber dome stylus. And for a quick maybe signature or something like that on a PDF document, it, it works much better than just using your finger directly. Um, overall sensitivity is about the same, I would say. And again, it's pretty easy to doodle, to box, annotate, and to do a few quick highlights, for instance, if you are a student. Uh, it definitely makes the process feel, at least, a little bit more natural. When it comes to handwriting, a larger text tends to work better. What I mean by that is with this particular soft rubber tip, if you're drawing something really small, it becomes a bit more challenging. So for instance, if I'm doing something with a tiny font, you can tell that it becomes uh, harder to make out, although handwriting recognition will still work, versus something if you write larger, uh, then it becomes much more legible and also it seems like slightly more responsive. Um, so if you're someone who has really small handwriting, then this might not be, again, the perfect stylus for you. I would prefer something that has a disc design or a, a plastic tip, which gives you more precision. Um, for rubber, I, again, the best thing is writing slightly larger, for signatures, for highlighting, and for general doodling and drawing, uh, slightly ar larger objects, things like that, that don't require that super small level of precision. Uh, but overall, you can see that in general, it works actually pretty well for a passive stylus in particular. Um, I think that Wacom, you know, made a pretty smart design here because everything, you know, is actually quite responsive and the fact that you can replace a rubber tip is unique. I haven't seen that on any other uh, passive stylus before in the past. Uh, if we compare that to the, you know, active stylus, the Wacom board, uh, pressure sensitive board open, we can see that I can press very light for a light stroke and also harder for a harder stroke. So it gives you more of that uh, experience that's closer to an actual pen and paper, uh, but also this kit or a regular active stylus, of course, is much more expensive. Taking a quick look at the Bamboo Paper app, again, it's great for journaling and note taking, especially if you don't have a drawing app pre-installed on your tablet already. When you first log in, it tells you to set up an account if you want to uh, save anything and sync it to the cloud, and afterwards you're ready to go, and you can actually create different journals dedicated for different tasks. For instance, I can create a journal just for a specific class or for a particular meeting. And when I want to look at it, I simply tap on it and I can create different pages uh, very easily. On the top here, I can also tap to create a different type of uh, utensil. So switching between a pen and a pencil, changing the stroke as well as the color. And all these things can also be done with the stylus really easily. So here's a test. And you can just tell how, again, fluid the overall experience is, even with applying almost no pressure at all uh, on the display, it all seems to work without no problems, um, especially, again, for larger doodling and note-taking, things like that, um, if you're not writing something that's super tiny and requires more precision. So as a whole, as far as passive styluses go, this is probably one of the best that I have checked out so far, just in terms of the accuracy and the fact that Wacom has also brought out an ecosystem, an app that uh, you know works well for note taking in conjunction with this stylus and some of their other models in their collection. So that's more or less it for our review of the Wacom Bamboo Alpha. If you are on a budget and you're looking for a low-cost stylus for doodling as well as for quick note-taking, this is actually a great option. Now, if you already have an iPad Pro or a tablet that has a pressure-sensitive stylus, such as on a Surface, uh, it doesn't make quite as much sense to pick one of these up. But if you have a typical tablet that doesn't have built-in pen support and you're looking to add a stylus at an affordable price, then the Wacom Bamboo Alpha is a great choice, especially for under $15. Um, I would say that this is a great fit for most consumers out there uh, as long as you're using it casually and not, you know, if you're not an artist and you want the most precision or you must have pressure sensitivity, then again, at this price point, it, it's uh, difficult to really resist. You can check out more details about this in our official article, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been our review of the Wacom Bamboo Alpha. 